Hello everyone, welcome. Uh, unboxing the Micro 3D, what is it, the 3D Micro 3D printer. <laughs> I backed them on Kickstarter a while ago. Uh, I got a notification this weekend that it was in the mail and it showed up today. So we're going to open her up and uh, take a look at it. Uh, I haven't even pre-broke the seals on the tape or anything. Okay. Don't worry, it's a dull knife. It seems like famous last words. As soon as somebody says it's a dull knife, they end up cutting themselves. <laughs> All right. All right, packaging. Oh, this is basically telling me the contents of the package, the filament I got, whatnot. And then there's... Uh, Instructions for unpacking and removing the micro. They included it. It would probably be a good idea to go and read those. There's an unofficial first time setup on YouTube. Awesome. But we're here, so we're just going to pull it out. It's actually really, really nicely wrapped in bubble wrap. Oh, wow. Holy cow. I had... Uh, Three spools of filament with it. <laughs> it looks like they might have just dropped it right in the center. I'm not sure how well that's going to hold up during shipping, but hopefully it didn't damage it or anything. I don't think it would have, but... Okay. So we have some, like, saran wrap on the outside, kind of keeping everything held together. Oh my goodness. I don't know if they ever wanted me to open this thing. Holy crap. Well, I guess at least it should be fully secured when it was shipping. Dang. Okay, so it looks like they wrapped all three axes. So they did top to bottom, left to right, and around the center. Oh no. Not a big fan of this right here. So the bubble wrap is taped to the micro. Oh, I hate tape on it because it usually leaves a residue. It can be a pain. Uh, we'll see how it is. Try to peel it off slowly and make sure we don't damage anything. Yeah, there we go. So it looks like the top part was stuck down first, and the bottom part. It seems kind of reverse. You'd think you'd do the bottom first and then wrap the top, but yeah. It doesn't matter. Neither here nor there. Okay. I got what was supposed to be the exclusive Kickstarter color. So we'll see if it is long term or not. Okay. That's good to go. Yeah, that's some nice big bubble wrap. That's awesome. Okay, yeah. So I have one, two, yeah, all three spools of filament are right in there. Uh, they look like they're actually taped securely to the frame of the micro. So I'm not too worried about back and forth movement causing much of any damage. <laughs> There's uh, huh. uh, a raft kind of wedged in there. Seems kind of weird, but it looks to be okay. And we'll keep going here. Holy cow, I swear this is like a jigsaw puzzle. Okay. So that must be power cables. 
Uh, they really did not want this moving or anything, which is good. I mean, it's well packaged. Yes, never cut toward yourself. But again, it's a dull knife. <laughs> okay, that's good there. And then... Yep, yeah, okay. So I would say... Kudos to the build team or the, the micro 3D team or 3D micro team. They did a very, very good job of packaging this thing. I'm not at all worried about any of this being damaged from shipping. Uh, okay. So, yeah, there's a USB cable and a power cord in here. I'm not going to open that up right now. Let's see if we can get to the thing. Okay, here we go. The good news is the, the finish on the 3D Micro is so nice, I don't think the, the tape is gumming it up at all. Which I really, really like that. Alright, so there's that. And then... Piece of tape running over the top here. So this being my first 3D printer, I don't know what I was expecting as far as the size of a spool. But the spools of the filament seem really, really small. I'm sure it's standard, but... Or maybe they just condensed them down to fit in the micro better. But yeah, it's a it seems like a pretty full spool there. Ooh, the white HIPS. That's awesome. That's exactly what I wanted. I wasn't sure I was going to get that stuff. Black ABS, and then this should be black POA. Yeah, good deal. And there's those. Yeah, it's uh, starting to look like a 3D printer now. Okay, there's some tape pulling the gantry in place. Oh, cool. So they did... Uh, so what they started doing is they 3D printed um, basically brackets here to hold everything in place to keep it from moving back and forth during shipping. And the quality on the pieces looks really nice. And they did say that was supposed to be the first test print with the printer. is supposed to be those these guys here. So, I mean, this looks pretty awesome. I'm not, not too sure about the... The very front of the case. Like, they have the... The wording's all cut out. Uh, it looks like they might have had some hard time or hard time getting the uh, like the underneath to sit under it because it's a little bit not really banged up, but it looks like it's been tweaked a little bit. And it's kind of disappointing, but it's uh, it's not too big of a deal. It's not uh, not a deal breaker for me. Yeah, and there's, there's just a little bit of tape residue on this, so I'll go through and I'll clean it up. And it looks like on the very front bottom, there may be a little bit of overspray. <laughs> looks like a little bit of silver overspray. It's probably not. Uh, it's probably just more tape gunk, so I'll go through and get her cleaned up. And I think that's it. Uh, it's pretty much unboxed. Uh, I'll take this off, off camera. I want to be extra careful with it and don't want to hurt anything and make sure I take my time. Uh, so there you go. That's the 3D Micro or the Micro 3D printer. Thanks for watching guys. See you later.